Hey Virgo, this is your early morning reading. This is about career and finances. Okay, let's see what's going on in your career and finances. As you all know, today, well, if you don't, I'm going back to my old job today. I started a new job three weeks ago. Um, I walked out Saturday. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> the people are, are just not getting serve, service, I feel, the right way. So I left. Um, went back to my old job. Well, going back to my old job. So this is going to be a... Um, a career in finances read, Virgo. Take it and take it and take it around with it, okay? okay? Virgo, career in finance. What's going on? Career in finances for Virgo. We're starting with news worth celebrating, joyful announcements, and like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude. Close communities or chosen families. Close communities or chosen family. Wherever you're going, going, it feels like maybe a family-oriented uh, business. Maybe the people make you feel like family. Okay, and it's, it's they're celebrating. They're celebrating that you work there. They're celebrating. Maybe you're going back. Like I said, I'm going back to my job. <laughs> you coming back, Miss Nikki? You coming back? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming back. <laughs> Because you know, maybe feeling appreciated where you're where you're headed. We have very intelligent Virgo. You're very intelligent, intelligent, very respected as well. Okay, very respected. And you you communicate clearly, and that's what people like about you. Okay, they like that you don't take any flack. We have some unfounded fear here, ex ex expecting the worst, thus creating a self-fulfilling prophecy, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. So if you're starting a new job or you're doing something, don't feel like you're intimidated with the job before you even get started. Okay. No worries. There's, there's no fear to be found here. Oh, yeah, we got a card that flipped up. Oh, we got lovers. Okay. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. I think that wherever you're going or whatever you're doing on your job right now, you know, people really like you. Sometimes you work on a job and you don't get along with some of the people. But I think this is a job that you're relatively going to like. They're going to like you, vice versa. You know, some of y'all may be, be recovering from some sort of illness as well. Falling in love or the resurgence of romance. A relationship you know no matter how much i try to get out of it you know there always seems to be some sort of love something in your readings because a lot of you all that's what you want some of y'all want to hear about love some of you don't but it always creeps it, it always creeps in um, don't give up on the people that you love and care about but this could also mean don't give up on yourself when it comes to this job because i think you're really going to love it we have to make a choice stop procrastinating or over analyzing get clarity on what you desire and move forward um, I kind of feel like, too, if you're worried about a job right now that you're in and it's not working for you, you're not happy with the, with the job, you're not getting along with some of your coworkers or, or the people you're working with, it's time to let that job go. It's time to to find something different, you know, um, something that's going to give you that peace of mind and you're not going to find it here. There's another job out there waiting for you, okay? A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So this job is going to prep you up for for a happier family to be to be more financially secure with your family. You know the bills and everything. Being able to even if you're single, being able to do it all on your own. All right, that's what this job is prepping you up for. Career and finance here for Virgo, but de definitely celebrating you on this job or it, like I said, going back, celebrating your return. Okay. You know, I never quit a job, you all, and I never like that, walked out and I never went back to a job. Well, I can't say I never went back laid off for situations, laid off and they called me back, but I've never really went back to went to, back to a job. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't burn any bridges, you know. We got three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. So I kind of feel like if you were on a job and it, it, maybe you left, you know, maybe the people were sad. Or if you leave this job, though, these people, you may be not maybe not getting along with these people. It's, you're going to bring a great sad, sadness to these people, mainly because they don't have to do the job that you were doing and theirs, too, pretty much. But um, this can also mean that 
you're you're leaving this job and it's heading you to a much happier position. If you're not happy where you are, leave. If if you feel you have to take that energy home with you, what am I gonna do? Let it go. Mm -mm. That's not even worth it. Yeah. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. I think things through clearly. Time is of the essence. Sometimes you gotta make a quick decision based on what your energy, based on your higher self and what spirit is trying to tell you. You know, is it a good idea for you to stay there? Should you leave? Should you go? What do it? And, and, and you're going to have to think about it real quick. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes they don't. But I know time is of the essence. Because if I would have waited any longer, they possibly would have gave that job to somebody else. So I'm glad I went back when I did. Well, let's just say I'm glad I made that call when I did. I called talk to my boss. I call the owner and talk to him. And, and on, on top of that, these people are giving me a raise. <laughs> you should get there before I left, but that's something I'm glad, I'm glad about. Okay. Because if I would have waited, I think any other, another few days, they would have hired somebody else for that position. Career of finances, and we have things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Okay. Things not turning out the way you hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. I literally just, I did a reading for you all. Just put it out, you know, check it out. It's um, Virgo, stop crying over that spoiled ass milk. <laughs> so, so maybe you started a job and it didn't turn out. Maybe you can go back to your prior job. Maybe you can't, but it's at the same time, you know, don't barely ache about it. Time is of the essence. You got to do what's best for you. Okay. You got to, um, if it's not comfortable for you, what you feel, what they're doing, it's not working out for you. It's time for you to find something else. And it, it's going to benefit you, Virgo, in the long run. It's about you, your feeling, and the people that you help and serve. Because we are a sign of service. If something don't feel right, we're bouncing. Okay? And I really sincerely hated to leave those people the way I did because they don't have any, like an advocate. They don't have anybody to, to um, like work orders not getting put in on time. Things are not getting repaired in a timely manner. And it's like, I feel bad for him, but I got to get the hell up out of Dodge. I would hate to, to to be confronted with this local news crew. You paid for it and all that shit, you know, and, and I'm the manager of the office. I can't put myself through that or them. So you got to do what's best for you. Didn't turn out the way I expected, so I'm going back, okay? And not seeing the positives of the situation. I could have stayed longer and made sure that their needs were met. But what about my needs? What about my energy? Me taking that shit home, you know, that energy home, that that intense energy that I couldn't help them the way I could have because I don't have the, the help, the re, the right resources to help them. You know? So sometimes you got to do what's best for you, even though it may put other people off. You got to do what's, what's best for you. You got to be true to yourself first. How can you help others if you're not fully helping yourself, you know? Career and finances, Virgo. Career and finances. Enjoying life's luxury, little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Some of you all are successfully self-employed or there's something that you're seeking, you're looking forward to doing that. And no matter what it is, the kind of work you're doing is helping you to enjoy the little luxuries, getting little raises or or finding better paying jobs or, way, or starting your own home-based business is definitely going to lead to for you to be more happier, okay? More financially sound and stable. Career and finances. Bottom of the deck I hear. Challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tax. And we have the world. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment so definitely you're logical you're being you were brutally honest you know i was brutally honest in the email i sent my my now prior boss about the, the work situation so and I'm, I'm sure when he looks at that email today he's gonna flip the fuck out y'all but you know you got to do what's best for you in the long run challenging information and i told him you need to to cater more to these people's needs you want the rent money i get it they owe i get it but you know this is possibly why the only place that they can stay and it needs to be fixed correctly. But, you know, challenges and um, I didn't deliver with that. I didn't deliver the truth without tact. It was very intentional, you know, uh, very intense. But that's something that he needed to know. Anyway, 
Okay. But you know, you're you're going to be paid for or and appreciated for a job well done on your end. It's going to bring some sort of joy to you that you haven't had before and the feeling that you are really needed somewhere and people love you and they're going to give you that gratitude. This is a path toward enlightenment for you knowing that you can be that boss, that person that's in charge, that person that can handle business the right way. And now it's not always about the business. You got to understand the human element of it too. All right. And if, if, if you feel that people aren't getting treated correctly, that's going to be a problem for you. That's going to be a problem for your heart. How can you bear it if you see somebody suffering and you try your best to help them and nothing is being done? And it kind of makes you feel bad. Like, if I'm not helping these people the right way, I need to leave because I have to take these this energy home with me every day. And it's not it's not a good feeling. All right. So I go. It's, it's more so this reading more so it's about you. Getting the, these these better paying jobs, getting jobs that you absolutely love to do, and at the same time helping others and feeling like if you can't help them, what's the point? Move on. I said move on. We have decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenge others rather than emotional Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. Sudden and unexpected changes here for you, Virgo. Definitely some changes is is is, is definitely headed your way. Um, but are you ready for it? All of these changes. We got the Knight of Swords here twice. Are you ready for this? Is challenges. Of course, things are going to challenge us. Sudden event. I mean, the sudden event for me was when I couldn't get this lady's heat fix for three weeks it's cold okay i'm done so 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 there's going to be something on your job or something that's going to happen around your energy with this job you're in that's going to make you it's going to push you to decide to go somewhere else you may not walk off the job you you may give a two-week notice or whatever but definitely there's going to be something that's going that's going to freak you out and say you know what i'm done and you have to make that decision you have to say you know what i'm being led i'm being led elsewhere and I'm coming real fast, you know, because before you know it, something's going to happen. That's going to kick off. That's going to say, you know what? I'm done. All right. Let's see. Final message for you, Virgo. Work and career and finance. We got the moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make you make everything clear. So you want to see everything clearly, what you need to do. There's a pathway for you to leave or there's a pathway for you to stay, but you're going to make that, you are, you are going ultimately going to be the one to make that decision. But clearly you're going to see what you need to do. Okay. Career and finance to Virgo. Career and finance for the earth before go. And we have here move movement you know speak your mind with confidence seek out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations you got to speak up for yourself okay you got to be fair to yourself but definitely move forward if it's not serving you here virgo you you are supported by a lot of spirit guides and angels you're not going to fall but you got to make sure you speak up with for yourself with confidence have confidence in what you're saying you don't have to be rude or or negative negatively intense about it you know just speak your mind you know and before i actually um quit saturday yes saturday i did call the other property manager and told her and i told her i was going to bring her the key and i told her why and she said she understood and you know because it's good money doing that and I, I i just can't sit around and make money and people are suffering it's just not who i am so anyway yeah speak your mind with confidence virgo with confidence and I know how you can be sometimes being a little brutal with your words, and that's okay. But do it with do it with some tact. Do it with some tact. You get it? All right. I hope this message resonates. I'll talk to y'all later.